கரண்ட் அஃபேர்ஸ் டுவெண்ட்டி செவன்த் பிப்ரவரி World NZO Day is celebrated every year on 27th February in several countries across the world. Non-governmental organizations or NGOs work in the upliftment of society. It is an international day to recognize, celebrate and honor non-government and non-profit organizations and also those who contribute their time and efforts in making society a better place to live in. In India, February 27th is celebrated as the National Protein Day to create awareness about protein deficiency and encourage people to include of this macronutrient in their diet. A 1.7 megawatt solar photovoltaic plant has been commissioned by Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited at Bina Madhya Pradesh for the Indian Railways. The plan of utilizing solar energy to power the railway stations about BHCL power to the traction systems of Indian Railways will be fed directly through this plant. Russian President Vladimir Putin announced a military operation in Ukraine which was termed as a full-scale invasion by Ukraine Foreign Minister. According to data from the Department for Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade, during April to December 2021, India's foreign direct investment equity inflows contracted by 16% to 43.17 billion US dollars. The first country in the world that has authorized the use of a plant-based COVID-19 vaccine is Canada. The two dose vaccine of Medicago can be given to adults who are aged between 18 to 64 but little data is available on the shots received by people aged 65 and above Maharshi Dayanand Saraswati Jayanti 2022 is being celebrated on February 26 2022 Anup Kumar Mendirita became the first serving judge to be appointed as Union Law Secretary among 60 candidates. On February 25, 2022, he became the first Union Law Secretary to be appointed as a judge in High Court. The Deputy Chief Minister of Delhi, Manish Sisodia, announced that Delhi will get India's first e-waste eco park. First, electronic waste eco-friendly park will be set up in Delhi to handle the increasing e-waste. The Union Bank of India launched Union MSME Rupee Credit Card in association with the National Payments Corporation of India. India abstained from United Nations Security Council resolution sponsored by the United States that strongly condemned Russia's aggression against Ukraine. India stated that discussion is the only way to resolve differences and issues and expressed regret that diplomacy was abandoned. The government of India has given its approval for the immigration visa foreigners registration tracking schemes continuation for a period of 5 years till 31st March 2026 with 1364.88 crore financial outlay. The Bhasha certificate selfie campaign has been launched by the Ministry of Education with the aim of promoting multilingualism and encouraging cultural diversity so as to foster the Ek Bharat Shreshtha Bharat spirit. India and Nepal agreed to set up a joint task force on proposal to construct a hydropower project from investments of both the countries. Narayan Rane, the Union MSME Minister has announced the formation of the MSME Technology Centre at Sindhudurg, Maharashtra. Snake Island or Zimlini Island also known as Serpent Island is an island belonging to Ukraine and is located in the Black Sea near the Danube Delta. It plays an important role in delimiting the territorial waters of Ukraine.